All right, guys, today our goal is to get some automated power set up. Uh, so stay tuned for that. We're going to be using a bamboo farm and the uh, furnace generator type thingies. It's going to be sweet. Alright guys, so we now have our bamboo farm uh, kind of set up. All we got to do now is uh, place the bamboo. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that here. After a quick nap. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to get shot by a skeleton a few times. And we withered ourselves. This ukulele, it's good and all, but I find that I end up injuring myself more um, than like the mobs. So we're going to grab all of this bamboo. We'll get it out of our, our hair here. Um, but that you, for the keen eye amongst you, you might notice a small problem. 
um, when it comes to bamboo farms in this mod pack is we get these things called bamboo leaves. Now these cannot be smelted, however they can be put into a composter, uh, they can be made into a bamboo thatch and made into stairs or something, so they look good on roofs. Um, <laughs> But that's not really going to do us any good. So what we're going to have to do is create an item filter to pull those items out and only allow the bamboo to go into the, the generators. Because we're going uh, to be running this farm pretty much 24-7. Uh, so that means that we're going to be generating a lot of bamboo. And it's really good because we'll be able to, you know... Uh, have a, a power source that is completely uh, automated. We don't have to touch it. It'll keep continu continuing to create power. Uh, so no more coal, no more nothing like that. We just got to create a few simple things uh, to get that rolling. So what we're going to need, uh, I should have down here already, is, yeah, we got the dropper. Um, so we're actually going to be filtering those guys out before they even get there. So our, and the reason why we have it so low here is because with this thing running constantly, they don't need to, they're not going to be growing up that tall unless they're, unless we have the farm shut off. Um, and then I also have it very well lit in here because I did actually build two big versions of these on my vanilla fan server. And we're having a bunch of problem with lighting. I actually need to tear out some of the blocks in the middle in order to get the lighting working properly. So that's why it looks a little different there. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and we are going to actually create the spot. Uh, do I have it? I don't have it in my inventory. We need the the amazing advanced jackhammer. It's like my favorite tool in this mod pack. All right, so we'll put the bamboo there for now. We need to give um, the bamboo a spot to go to. So we're going to clear out this little area here. And that will allow us to, um, you know, this is where the, the furnaces are going to be. Uh, we're going to have quite a few of these. We're going to see how many uh, we can have before the farm can't support them anymore. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and clear this out real quick. And we'll be back once I've got it cleared and lit up. Okay, so we got the room here uh, that we're going to be having these guys run to. And then we're going to go one, two, and then here. Because we're going to have kind of a wall here. And then we're going to line this up along the back. Uh, so it means that we need to clear this out here, uh, which is no big deal, because uh, hoppers are going to be running into the back of these guys, um, and there'll be a water stream uh, kind of on top here. Um, yeah, so I actually want the water stream to come up here. We're going to have some kind of stairs uh, blocking it off, and the reason I haven't uh, started the... Uh, the creation uh, or put the bamboo in is because we would be just it would just be running constantly and I don't really want that right now so yeah that's why so we're gonna go like this all right and so the power cable will actually yeah power cable will be down below uh, pulling power out and then uh, the hoppers will be on the back here uh, putting the items in so here we go, we have the perfect amount, eight for our eight hoppers. Hmm. I just, uh, I just thought about it. it. So this is gonna have to fill up before it can pass items on to this one. So this is going to take a while to fill up. Now, I think in the long run, because I, I have made it so that these are the spawn chunks, um, they're just a simple a little switcheroo, you know. Just hit slash set world spawn. It's over by the trees. Uh, so these guys, the, the farm will be running 24-7 now, as long as the server's on. So we will be able to generate quite a bit of this. Uh, but where did I put my redstone? Okay, so let's worry about the item stream now, uh, getting the items out of the system. Um, let's see, so it's going to be here. We're going to go three blocks, so we need one, two, three, four more hoppers, which isn't a big deal. Um, and then we're going to be putting the item filter over here to kind of pull the items out and not allow the ones we don't want in there going in. 
So let's go create those four extra hoppers. And then we will start with the bamboo. Because we're bamboozled. Alright, let's grab some of those. All right, so we got the four more hoppers that we need. Okay, and we're actually gonna need a little bit more, probably two more, now that I think about it. Um, or we just put them here. Oh, we gotta put this down here, sorry. Like a so. And so we need one more, actually. One more hopper we can do the filter in. And then we're gonna need to set up a second one of these two as well. Uh, but we're gonna worry about this one right meow. Um, okay, so this is gonna go that way. We're gonna be filtering out of this one here. Uh, so it does mean, shoot, we are going to need a, two extra hoppers, so we need to move this over one more block. Okay, so I believe I've got it mostly dialed in at this point, uh, so I ended up making quite a few more, believe it or not. Uh, now we're working on the water stream here. Um, I don't think that's quite enough. So we need to go... Should be able to do something like this. Yeah, so all we care about is the items being able to slide underneath the half slab. So they need to be on the bottom. They can't be floating at all. Otherwise, they will, um, they won't be able to pass underneath it. Now, I'm pretty sure we could make this work with just the one, um, the water source, because they would slide enough. But I'm not really going to risk it uh, for the biscuit. So, yeah, this is what we're, what we're doing. And so all we need to do is now just cover that up. And any item that we put in there will get shot out into the item stream. Very cool. All right, and then while we're down here, we're also going to uh, fix or finish this guy, which is what we need. And this guy being the item filter. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and make it real quick. Uh, so we're just doing the very, very simple item filter here. Okay, so I forgot to bring my redstone torches. Fun, fun. Ah, trying to get this all dialed in is a little crazy at times. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, there we go. So we need to go back, we'll need to fix that. All right, so torch goes here, we take a repeater, put it here, and then we cover the top here with redstone. There's our item filter. Now we do need to put our filter items, uh, the, item, the items that we wanna filter, and the filter items uh, we just renamed those in an anvil, and we're good to go. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here real quick. Uh, we can start the bamboo farm. Uh, so we start by placing that, and we should see a bunch of items start to shoot over once once they grow. So now for the tedious process of, of doing this.
Okay, so we are going to go ahead and finish this guy uh, by doing a downwards pointing uh, dude. <laughs> uh, downwards painting uh, dropper and then some lava down below. And then we'll clear this area out over here a little bit. Alright, so when an item comes into here, it activates that guy and then swings it around town. So, say if we were to do this. Oh. I think we need to go one more block downward. No matter. Hmm, we need one more hopper. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back down here now. Uh, obviously, we're going to go one more down and then place this. Oh, that's not right. Place it like this. There we go. And so we can place that there. Uh, we need to build this one more block down. And so we go comparator, redstone, torch, redstone, or redstone repeater, sorry. All right. And so now if we were to put in the granite, yep, that got destroyed. We can test it there with the bamboo. Perfect. So any of the bamboo leaves that get into our system will be sorted and destroyed. Perfect. We need to go there. All right. So now all we need are the items that we will be filtering out. Uh, so we can put in like andesite here for now and then put in the bamboo leaves. So if we go... Should be able to get a few. Yeah, we need a, we need over a stack of those guys. We're not really stacked. Uh, Forty one of them. Okay. So now we get to work on the item filter. Bam. Should stop at 41. Yep, there we go. Check it out. So we only got 41 in there. That is the exact amount that we want. So we can go ahead here, fill this up, uh, which will allow the farm to run at its optimum efficiency. Bam. Okay, so th this whole part is done. It's really important now. Um, let's see. This is center. We're going to remove this guy, this one bamboo. Place a torch here. Just because it seems that those don't seem to be growing very well. Um, and having only one torch do it, you know, we won't lose much efficiency. But we will be able to keep... Um, the farm going okay so now we can activate the farm the reason why it's so laggy is because my camera account is still on so let me go ahead and remove that guy real quick Whoops. all right there we go so camera account is gone we should see that it's not nearly as laggy Hopefully. Okay, so yeah, all of the items are down there. So all we gotta do is place this guy here. Perfect. Alright, so now let's work on... We're gonna do the temporary item stream like this. Okay. Items are going there. Perfect. We need a bucket. El bucketo of a water row, because we need one more. Alright, 
so that should be in. All right, we're gonna set the the back to be the input here. And as you can see, we are already getting items coming in. So until this guy fills up, these guys aren't gonna be generating a whole lot. Um, but we are gonna be running this for a while. So we're gonna see if this is a viable power source. I wanna test this out for you guys. So you guys could also see, hey, this is a viable solution. We might need to have made it bigger. Um, but anyway, it is, you know, technically 100% green power, which is pretty cool. Okay, perfect. So now we just need to get some of the, the power from down there up here. Uh, we can do that with a bunch of the uh, tools that are at our disposal. Do we have the rubber in here? We have the sap. Um, industrial centrifuge, there you go. So stair here, furnace here, stream there. So our power cable needs to go up here and we need to route it around. Okay, so this is gonna be a very long cable. Okay. Cool thing is our mini map should help us find it. Parallel now. Okay, so now if we mine down, we should find our little hole. Ah, we were one off. Okay. Ouch. All right, so this is where we need to run the power through. Bam, I did not think we would have enough power for that, or enough cable. But we actually do. So, very cool. It's going to be pulling power out of that. Um, yeah, looking sweet. All right, so we need to put some blocks down here so they don't get pushed out the bottom. Um, we're just gonna do this. Perfect. Yep, no more blocks are being pushed through. We can break this one as well. Uh, yeah, we can also place two blocks here. Should come back and no problem. Perfect. All right, so how are we doing filling this up? Can't really check there. Okay, so it is, it is uh, actually 
filling up, so it'll just take a while for these guys to all get filled up themselves. So super excited about that. Guys, check out this video on your screen now. Uh, it's my Valhelsia 3 Series. I think you guys will like it. <laughs>